Hey all, I just wanted to give a quick update on the um, cylinder heads. Uh, I've been working on them for about a month now and uh, just been breaking them apart, uh, taking off the springs, um, retainers and so on. Um, this uh, tool here uh, is a valve spring compressor I got off eBay. Um, I'll do a review on that here in a little bit and I'll show you how it works. Um, I'll make that probably the second part of the video. Um, it's an excellent tool. It actually makes really short work of the, these uh, valve springs. Um, but uh, I did get them off. Um, and uh, as you can see here, here's the uh, head that's partially clean. Um, it's not completely clean, uh, but it is partially clean. So it looks a little bit better. Um, and what I found to work, um, just from YouTube and doing some research, um, is this stuff, this, uh, oven cleaner. It's Easy Off Oven Cleaner. Um, just got it from my local Harris Teeter. Uh, it was <laughs> the only thing that really worked. I mean, I tried this gasket remover, I tried MEK, I mean, I tried everything. And, um, it works. Um, uh, you just, it foams, and you just, uh, put it on here, and as you can see, it cleans up the carbon and just completely breaks it down. It looks tremendous. Like the job it does is just wonderful. Um, the only downside is, um, as you can kind of see in there, there's a little bit of like, uh, I don't know what you call it. It's just like goo from uh, the remainder of the carbon buildup that the uh, oven cleaner broke down. So now I'm kind of stuck with that. Um, so uh, long story short, um, I'm probably gonna, just going to take it to a, a shop around me. Um, they're going to charge me 300 bucks to do both heads, do a complete valve job, um, clean them up, and pressure test them as well. So I think it's worth it. Um, but uh, I just wanted to show kind of my experience with the oven cleaner. I think it did a great job. Um, I'd highly recommend it. So, um, well, I guess I'll leave this one up. That's, uh, that's kind of the finished product, and um, here's what the... Uh, Here's kind of what I started with, and as you can see, they're really, it's really caked on there pretty good. So, um, it does a really good job. Um, and, uh, as you can kind of tell, maybe, maybe not, um, I did try, uh, lapping the valves a little bit. Um, the, uh, exhaust valves look so-so. Um, I'm not really ha happy with the results. I mean, look at them compared to the intake. They... They don't look nearly as good, um, so I'm not really happy with the results. Um, it was hard getting the suction cups to uh, stick on the valves, especially the exhaust valves, since they got like this um, kind of like this, I don't know, bowl or whatever you want to call it, um, right here, and uh, the suction cup just didn't want to stick onto it, so I couldn't get it to work. So I had to use the drill. <laughs> um, that worked a little bit better, but um, yeah. So the valve grinding, um, you know, it. It worked all right, but um, I don't know. It, it might be kind of hard to see in the video. Uh, let's see if I can get it to focus here. Uh, but it's just I'm just not. Uh, it's not gonna focus on it. But um, I'm just not really really happy with it. So um, I'm gonna let them try and give it a shot and uh, see what they can do. So, uh, but it was a good learning experience. Um, it was definitely fun to learn. Um, plus, I've heard that this uh, grinding compound has, I guess, uh, sodium carbide or silicon carbide or something in it that uh, if you get it in the engine, it could be pretty bad. So, definitely want to have all that cleaned up. But as you can see, the valves still aren't completely clean. Um, that's probably about as clean as they're going to get. But uh, anyway, they look all right. So, um, but. Not as good as they could be, so I'm going to send it off to a shop and have them do it for me. Um, oh, uh, the other thing. Um, so I had to go get these, uh, let's see, I had to go get the new um, uh, valve stem seals. And uh, this is the ones that they got. Uh, again, this is, uh, this is an 07, 08, Silverado 1500, uh, 5.3. So I'll, I'll wrap this uh, portion up. And I'll show you how the uh, valve spring compressor tool works. Alright, so this is part two. I'm just going to kind of show you how this uh, valve spring compressor works. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, I bought it 
from, I think it was Bluegrass Performance um, out of Kentucky. And uh, I think I paid like maybe 50 bucks for it. I got it off of eBay. Um, so I would highly recommend it. It was definitely worth the money. Um, makes this job a heck of a lot easier. Um, and um, it, it just works really good. Um, supposedly it's made in the U.S., hopefully. So um, you got that too. So I'm just going to kind of show you how it works. Um, so this is a 13 millimeter. Um, I'm going to tighten these down quick. I don't know. Show you how quick it gets this spring off. So, everything is a 13, I believe. So. so you just kind of snug it down there. Tighten it. That's it. One of the things I have noticed is these uh, valves kind of sometimes go down with the spring, so naturally, which is what they're supposed to do, so just kind of got to hit them a little bit as you get it down, it's like that, it's all the way down, I'm just going to, I guess I have to just kind of tap it here. Just like that, they're out. Here's the retainers. I kind of lost one down there. But I'll get that later. So the retainers are out. And you just uh, take this guy off. That's it. That's all there is to it. Um, the only trick was um, this thing has two parts. Um, it's kind of got this. Uh, I guess it's just like a spacer or something. Um, you just kind of point it like that, um, and then you just put it together and then put the put the uh, bolts through it. But that's pretty much it. So just gonna keep going.
the uh, kit I got. Um, it came with uh, new springs, um, new uh, retainers, and so on. So, um, yep. So I will go ahead and uh, continue on here. And, um, won't bore you through the rest of it, but um, highly recommend it. Um, it's a great tool. It was definitely worth the money. So. Um, something to keep in mind if you're looking for a valve spring compressor I would definitely go with it so all right thanks all